uh, there's a question came from an audience, and I want to start with you. All right, the question is, what will be the most interesting trend for 2021 in respect to business technology and or other than artificial intelligence? Great question. So uh, this actually, this question applies to 2020 and 2021. So one of the significant marketing trends in technology is voice intelligence and um, your home devices or your personal assistants. So if you were to say, hey, Sarah, not the Apple one, because they're in this room, I'm not gonna activate it. Uh, order me my favorite beverage from Starbucks and it'll be ready for you in the next five minutes at your local Starbucks. So uh, if you have the ability to um, use voice intelligence and personal assistance with your business and your products, it's a way to compete with others in your local area. So it is specific to geographic regions, uh, but voice intelligence and uh, personal assistance having that tied into SEO is a significant factor for 2020 and 2021. So Michael, do you actually work with uh, people, uh, businesses to help them implement that? Or do you do the design work or what, what exactly do you get involved in? Good question. So in, you know, 35,000 feet, all of the above. So we're not everything. We are a full service marketing agency, but we, we use behavioral science or applied psychology and neuroscience constructs and apply those to marketing. Things that we are okay. applying today that might fail in two years. Uh, ten, eight, ten years ago, Google Glass was the hottest product and uh, everyone thought it was going to be a great item. It completely failed. And you know, maybe it's just 20 years ahead of its time. So maybe in 2035 and 2036, Google Glass might make a return and be relevant to consumers yeah. at that time. How is that, the change is a trend that that leading towards, you know, voice and things like that will affect the landscape in overall, you know, businesses and also workforce and for the next generation, let's say for the millennials as well. Well, I don't like to say, let's talk about millennials because there's many different types of millennials. You have millennials who are uh, in their early thirties, married with two kids, and you have millennials who are just graduating undergrad and have a lot of college debt and no jobs. So two the very significant different decision-making processes between those two categories. Um, but when you look at, say, voice, um, you want to stand out. And so if, um, if you can jump on this early, you now have, say, Treat it as search engine optimization. If you jump on it now, you'll be the, on the first page of Google. The old adage in marketing is the best place to hide a body is the second page of Google. If you search for something in Google and it's not on the first page, you're probably not going to go looking for it. And so that's the same way for voice. And so, but the thing is, when you say, hey, Alexa or Siri, you know, what is the nearest coffee shop near me? It's going to give you only the three or four that they, they know about. So if you're not in that, um, um, that optimized search, then you're not even be listed whatsoever, and you don't have the ability to scroll or read. It's whatever they're reading back to you. So I think most people mm. here know a real estate agent, right? So if I was to All say, right. give me a referral to a real estate agent, you probably know 50 people who work in real estate, but yeah. I'm only asking for one. How do you become that one person that gets referred right. to me? So that, that's what Google is heading to, huh? Uh, so one last question, I always want to ask this. Is that is it necessary? I guess the, the answer would be yes. It's very obvious uh, for all businesses to get on that voice uh, recognition or voice, um, you know, capability to get on that Google. Well, the answer is actually no. So it, it depends on how is that relevant to your consumers. So if you are a coffee shop and you're competing with Starbucks, absolutely get on to you know voice recognition, voice intelligence, uh, voice technology. If you are competing with SpaceX, well, that's probably not really your market space. Not, it's not really, really relevant to your consumers. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I, I totally agree. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, stay put because I think I have a couple more questions for you related to your uh, leadership in that aspect for sustainability. Okay. So I really appreciate those answers. I want to go to uh, Brazil, I guess at this time, to ask Arlene, who is an advocate prime dispute ambassador for South America. Uh, I, I don't know if I pronounced this correctly, a broad conflict management. Is she there? Let me say something. Uh, I'm very close to Argentina, but I'm not from there. I am from Rio de Janeiro. And uh, my background is from Germany, but I was born here in Brazil. So 
Uh, I am very touched with the invitation to be here today. It was, uh, you got me by surprise, Nick, because I had no idea. Well, it's lovely to have you on this show, you know, on this forum. It is. I want to hear from your region, you know, how are you guys doing in your region, in Brazil? We want to know. Um, yeah, and I was thinking about that, and my, my expertise is about mediation. I, I worked all my life at the Court of Justice in Brazil as, uh, well, it's, it's a government um, a service, and I, I, I got my retirement already, but I have been working with mediation for this and this, and you know, most of times I was feeling exactly with the same symptoms that the coronavirus is presenting. Um, in, in the world, the health industry is actually combined with the medicine industry. So, so this gives a difference of perspective. So, but um, that was the long version, sorry. The short version, it's going good. Let me ask you this very really quickly. I know I've seen a show, I, I don't watch TV so often, but when I do, I, I watch documentaries and everything like that that's really related to life in general. So I came across this show called Down to Earth. Now, in one of the shows is really, really, really significant for me personally because it, it shows how people were living and then they, they call themselves as, you know, the people who live more than 100 years of age and how they live so long enough is that they're living a stress free. That's the bottom line. Other people, not to ourselves. That's why when I start to say that I, I was trying, I was working. Distancing, so they need to open uh, the market. So, level by level, ranking wise, it is India is at the very low level. Uh, though India's count is high, but because population is very high, that is why the count is high. But the per million cases are in the ranking, uh, India is 2105. So, wow. uh, so even yeah. they close that district or together mm -hmm. living uh, on the public or the uh, uh, society or the citizens uh, like uh, it's not like they have to take their call indians need to take their call it's not like that sometimes they take the harsh decision to close it the lockdown doing the even on the sundays they know that sundays are very very crucial because people go for enjoyment and fun so tough Working on the, the uh, uh, so it's not only in Denmark uh, and uh, uh, so, but in Denmark, what is going on is that the prime minister actually closed down. It was one of, as I've heard, uh, Denmark was one of the 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 countries that actually closed down the fastest. So we have, and uh, we we are in the also in the category of not having that many um, uh, dead actually of coronavirus and there's a lot of tester testing also. Um, also, um, uh, everything went online very fast uh, from the government. They were on a lot of times during the day all through the start and we got a lot of in information it was so much actually so i um, made no masks and we uh, we just go around almost as we did before um and then when when someone hears oh uh, the neighbor got COVID, <gasps> we create the extract out of it like boiling them in a water <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy Friday, guys.